I'm Daniel. This is Steve. We invent top-notch cocktails for some of the best bars and restaurants in America. When it comes to making drinks, food is our inspiration. And behind every cocktail we make is an adventure. The Village Idiot is one of the restaurants leading the charge in whole animal butchering in Los Angeles. Today we're headed to the Village Idiot to butcher a pig. Our mission, cut up the beast, eat every part of it from the ear to the tail, and create two pork-inspired cocktails for the guys at the Village Idiot. We thought we'd take you guys back in the kitchen, show you what we do in terms of breaking down the animal. You guys ready to butcher a pig? Chris brought us right into the kitchen. You ready to use some knives? Let's take some I just shots, even bitch. Drink. <laughs> yeah. You don't realize how huge pigs are. Go ahead and throw it up on that cutting board. It's beauty. Yeah. <laughs> pig, pork, hog. Sometimes when I'm teaching people how to butcher, I refer back to your own muscle structure. You're telling me if I know how to butcher a pig or a cow, I know how to butcher a human. <laughs> Essentially. Okay. It's, good, it's a good skill. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, I've been in Vegas. <laughs> some crazy shit goes down. We'll start off by taking the shoulder off, take some pork chops out of the loin. We'll make a ham today, make some bacon out of the belly. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just kind of take your time. All right, so this is actually a challenging cut. But there you That's go. So done. Pork That's tenderloin. Done. We're going to make ham today. <laughs> There you go, yeah. It's There's just, something about this elbow. Yeah, material. it's like, it actually uh, looks it's, like a, it's pretty similar, <laughs> actually, you know? Draw a straight line between the H bone and the tail. Getting there. It just takes a while. <laughs> I cut that through the tongue. <laughs> I do a Cubano sandwich in which we use the pork shoulders. Yeah. Boom! Nice work. Once you break it down and you see the pork chop, then it becomes food again. We're gonna make some beer bratwursts. Beer brats. Yeah. Beer brats, right? It's right up your alley. <laughs> we've separated the fat, we've separated the meat. So go ahead and add our dry mix. Just try to distribute it pretty evenly. Now here's the secret ingredient. This is how it becomes Midwestern. It's a master grinder there. It's a little bit juicy. Your sausage is juicy. It's quite juicy. So now that we have our meat ground, we're going to stuff our sausage. <laughs> Grab some hog casings. I mean, what, look at that. <laughs> oh, it, it gets even better, don't worry. You just put a little bit of resistance on. If you want him to go faster, you can go faster, you can go slower. Go faster, go oh, faster, yeah. girl. Oh! oh there you go. Come on. Blow it <laughs> out. You gotta keep going, though. It's just. Uh oh, oh. Go two hands on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Village Idiot is very lucky to have a wood burning open fire. That location has been a restaurant for over 70 or 80 years. And because of that, their grill is grandfathered. Wood fired grill. Oh. It's just, to me, the best way to cook meat, especially after you've butchered it yourself and you've taken that time. And so it kind of comes back all full circle when you cook it on wood. It's toasty yeah. back here. It's really <laughs> it toasty. Is, it gets to be hot quick. I mean, it gets to be probably 900 degrees. We cooked a bacon steak, pork chop, bratwurst, the smoke and the meat and the bacon, the saltiness, and hopefully it'll come across in our cocktails. That's what, what I'm trying to uh, kind of profile here is the sweet and the savory aspect of the pork, as well as the fat. Smell bacon right now. Ah. Fuck, I want to eat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Chris made us one of the best Cubano sandwiches I've ever had. Grilled, flattened sandwich with four different types of pork meats. Beer bratwurst was awesome. He had tried a number of different beers. We gotta be American. We gotta do that American lager, you know? Whoa! Like the lardo and the riettes and stuff, that's my jam right there. Right here we have a liver pate. It's like pork butter. Crispy belly, bacon with fried skin on it. That pork chop cooked on that grill is just phenomenal. Like crispy pigtails with some crispy white barbecue pigtails. sauce. Damn. I always think of like a little curly cue. <laughs> the pig heart was great. Amazing to see the inventiveness from the same animal. The bacon steak is just like, it's bliss. That's that balance of salt and fat, yeah. really, because that's what makes you want to come back for more. And that, that's what I'm going to try to do with the drink. Yeah, man, that meal was just crazy. To eat every part of the pig that we have just butchered was quite an experience. Cheers, yeah. man. It's been yes. great having you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
look forward to what yeah. you guys put together. Okay, so this is the Fat Manhattan. This is a cocktail inspired by the Village Idiot. And we're gonna start off with the garnish, which is candied bacon. So I'm gonna start off with uh, two nice pieces of bacon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some granulated sugar on the bacon. And it is a nice thick coat. Then you get to the fun part of the garnish, which is the blowtorch. With this guy here. And we're gonna use this to brulee the bacon and the sugar together. And it's gonna be a beautiful, smoky, sweet garnish. And as you can see, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of smoke coming off this. This is what I want Chris and Dean to experience when they take a sip from the cocktail. So now that we've candied the bacon, we're gonna go ahead and put this aside and we're gonna start building the cocktail. What we're gonna start off with first is a, a big, beautiful block of ice. And I'm gonna take that down so it perfectly fits the glass and then we're gonna build the cocktail on top of that. So first ingredient is some Italian sweet vermouth. We're gonna add one half ounce. Okay, so the next ingredient is an Italian walnut liqueur. I'm gonna add three quarters of an ounce to the cocktail. The next ingredient, also from Italy, is an Amaro called Montenegro. This has a nice nutty flavor to it, and I'm gonna add three quarters of an ounce. So the key ingredient for the fat Manhattan is the fat-washed Racer 5 whiskey. This is one of my favorite whiskeys. I've infused it with some bacon fat, and now I have this delicious whiskey that's smoky and got lots of bacon flavors. I'm gonna add one ounce. The last ingredient, just to give a little balance to the cocktail, is Peruvian bitters. I'm gonna add two dashes, and now we're ready to stir. So we got this nice big block. I'm gonna stir all these ingredients together. And now I'm gonna add the candied bacon as a garnish for the cocktail. And there you have it. The Fat Manhattan for those bacon freaks, Chris and Dean at the Village Idiot. This is the Heifer Bison, which is based on our experiences at the Village Idiot and our pig extravaganza. It has some salami, orange marmalade, apricot, fresh lemon, and Hefeweizen. We start with four ounces of fresh apricot puree. The apricot's really nice, very refreshing. To balance that sweetness, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon one bar spoon of orange marmalade. The orange marmalade definitely makes it a little bit of a breakfast cocktail. The orange marmalade also really pairs well with the Hefeweizen because of the bitter orange peel, which is in all Hefeweizens. Then to give this a light shake. Add some ice in a Collins glass. Strain the fruit mix. And top with a Hefeweizen. And we top it off with a heifer portion of the Hefeweizen. First, a little bit of salami. And balance out the saltiness, a little bit of sweet apricot. This is a little pepper salami. Adds a little bite to the cocktail. This is the Hefeweizen, inspired by our pig adventure at the Village Idiot. Oink, oink. Dean and Chris were just so unbelievably kind and welcoming to us that, you know, I'm really looking forward to treating them to some cocktails. Village Idiots, you know, it's a pub, um, so I thought a beer cocktail would be really nice, refreshing. Dig it. Super refreshing. I thought when you explained this drink, I thought brunch. One could drink multiple. <laughs> this is the other side of the spectrum. Something for after dinner? Uh, well, it depends on who you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow. I've been really curious in this fat washing. washing. I've never experienced it, but I've read about it. You put pork and booze together, it's just perfect. The butchery is artistry. Mixing cocktails is artistry. To be able to pair the two together um, has been great. All right. Cheers. Cheers Thank you. Cocktails, pigs, yeah. good times. To, to all of your hard work. Thanks. Woo, I need more whiskey. Ah. <laughs> Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.